morning to you all. Here we are at Copenhagen Airport again. It's early morning. What time is it here on the... 20 past 6 or something. 20 past 6, as Marta said, trusty Polsa. Today we are flying to Amsterdam, after which we are catching a, another flight. Shall I say which flight it is? Yes. Yes. Okay. We're flying with China Airlines to Taipei from Amsterdam. And our first trip starts with a SAS flight from Copenhagen to Amsterdam, as I already mentioned. But we'll see you along the way. Hoping for a good trip. Yes. First time with uh, China Airlines, and we're flying Premium Economy. Yeah. Okay. For the first time. Well, I'm not going to talk too much. We're not going to talk too much. We have to check in. Let's check in. See you. And here we are on the check in line. We recently got upgraded to SAS Silver Class, which means we can stand in the business class line. Just made it to the check-in desk. Yes. And our flight leaves at 8.15 today. So we just checked in now. Now we're going to make our way up past security. The silver card uh, gives us access to the lounge. Unfortunately, it doesn't give us access to fast track and security, and I think there's a lot of people there. Yeah. So once we get up there, we're going to figure out whether we go to the lounge or not. And I'm looking at the display screen <laughs> rather than the camera, like I should be looking at normally. But we're going to make a move upwards up there. And there goes Maro up the stairs, up towards security control. And what do you say? The journey's on. Let's go. Down to security control. Here we are at the duty free on our way to the airport. What she meant to say was, let's make our way into the airport. I gave her the script. She didn't read the script. The smells of duty free. So now we made it into the departure hall. We have to go just over there, my favorite spot, just to see what planes are out there on the apron. Here we go. Yeah. Not much to see out there today. Very grey. It's early part of the morning. Just gonna see which gate we are at. So flight up there, there we have it. 815 SK 2551 to Amsterdam, gate C3, and that's two minutes from here. So now let's go and try and find that lounge. Yeah. Lead the way. There's a new restaurant in Copenhagen Airport, I see. A retreat. So we found our gate, C3. Indeed, very practical. So now that we've found our gate, we're going to go down and see if we can find the lounge. Just got to film these little eatery areas and open space. It's a nice thing at Copenhagen Airport. Well, I was going to offer you a caviar house today, but unfortunately it's closed. I'm sure you will. What a pity for me. <laughs> ah, and then we have the lounge. You remember last time we were here? On the last one of the last videos? You wanted to go in? We didn't have access. Now we have access. Let's go. So here we are inside the lounge. A few breakfast things, coffee, juices. Looks like a nice area to sit at. Here we are, relaxing in the lounge. Got a nice little spread just in front of me. I'll show you that in a moment. Now let's get some juice, get some coffee, and some bread. <coughs> just in a second, let's have a look at it. That's a nifty little breakfast to start the day with. A very welcome breakfast. We're up early in the morning. And it's free. <laughs> just over there on our left. The information board so we can keep an eye on our flight. It's a computer station straight ahead. And the main eating hall, food hall is straight ahead. Some fun appetit. And what about a thumbs up? And I'm eating a very typical Danish breakfast. A bun with cheese and strawberry marmalade on top of the cheese. That was a nice time and in the lounge. Now we're going to the gate. So that was a good experience in the lounge. Thumbs up for SAS Lounge. Thank you. Thank you for having us.
the reason we got in, I'm not sure if I said it before, was because we recently got upgraded to Silver Card. So on Saturdays, we're allowed to be in the lounge too, so during like certain parts of, the, parts of the year. Very lucky for us, very enjoyable. Off to the gate now. Yep. Mato is as usual leading the way down to our gate. There's our gate, gate C3. Now we just have to wait for boarding. Maro, did I remember to mention that there's a Victoria's Secret just up there, somewhere over there? Mr. Khan, you got that one? It was very prompt boarding. And down we go, ready to board our first flight for the day. It looks like a bus boarding. The bus is over there. And here we have the bus that will take us to our aircraft. We'll take the back of the plane because there's always more space. Well, not, sorry, the back of the bus because there's always more space there. We we'll make our way out to the aircraft. So here we are sitting on the bus, waiting to be driven out to the plane. So here we are on board the Bombardier Dash 900, as far as I remember it's called. You can just look at the safety card here. What does it say? CRJ 900. Very slim aircraft, not very much space. But the bad news is no bloody window. A little bit there in the back and a little bit on the front. How unlucky can you get? We always seem to get this window seat. No. So, you can just imagine the takeoff and how awesome it is. Then we have the view behind us. Not going to be much of a filming here. So, despite this being a rather small aircraft, the legroom is not bad. There is space here. Slow, slightly touching, but it doesn't feel so cramped. Maro is doing the business class thing again with those a little bit shorter legs. Always a luxury for you. Oh, she's going to do it herself this time. Have we told the story about that one yet? To be continued another time. Mano's famous bath bag that was used not just once, but twice. We're supposed to be leaving at Maro pull back my sleeve. 8.15 on the trusted pulsar. We're a little bit delayed already. The time is 20 past 8 in the morning. We don't have much time as usual to connect flights in Amsterdam. Just over an hour. Hopefully we get there on time. And we have to check in again. Indeed. As a departure, may we please ask you to select flight mode on all electronic devices. The time is now almost 26 minutes past 8. We're still waiting for apparently some luggage loading documentation. Hopefully we'll catch up a little bit of time in the air because we don't have much time to spare in Amsterdam. I have a feeling we're going to be running. 
We still have to get our boarding cards in Amsterdam because we couldn't get them in Copenhagen. We have to pass security and we probably have to pass immigration again too. And here you're looking at our patient faces with big smiles and big thumbs up. Do we mean it? Of course we mean it. We will make it. <laughs> will we? I'm always positive. Mar, yeah. Max is also positive. Last time we ran also in Amsterdam, but we landed and we had 20 minutes time for the change of the plane. Now we will have about an hour. Yeah, but we still have to get boarding passes. Yeah. Oh well, we'll see. Close by. Cross fingers for us. Here's another little update from the trusty Polsa. It's now 8.35. Not worrying yet but thinking about whether we should be worrying in a few minutes' time. <laughs> it's now past 20 to 9, still on the ground, still going nowhere. A little bit of worry is beginning to settle in. So we're apparently still waiting for luggage to be loaded. Uh, chances are we're going to miss our flight now. It's now 10 to 9, which brings us up to a 35-minute delay so far. We would ask for your cooperation. The the red Six minutes to nine, and the sharply. safety demos. The mouthpiece for further inflation ongoing. or deflation. And a whistle. Pushback and has a begun light. also. Infant life jackets are also available on board. Ladies and gentlemen, please now read the safety information card located in the seat pocket in front of you. We will again again take none of these security opportunities and things for safety information cards in the long run. This is of course a CRJ 900, as I have said. Straight ahead of me there through the window is the same kind of aircraft that we are flying with. And we taxi onto the runway. Now nine o'clock on the old trusty Polsa, and uh, we are taxiing out to our runway. Forty-five minutes delayed because of luggage. In the distance, we have Thai Airways, Singapore Airlines, and uh, Tui Boeing seven six seven. Here comes an airline we haven't seen before. Tailwind. If anybody knows that airline, please write it down in the comments below. Out there in the distance is the. Air Greenland Airbus A330. Almost on the runway now. I'm going to be taking off from runway 22 right. Just turning onto the runway now. And it's probably going to be a very quick takeoff. You can feel it. Here we go. And we're off. So let's try and film it from this angle. A little bit awkward. We're on our way to Amsterdam. We're bouncing on the runway here, runway 22R at Copenhagen Airport. Picking up some speed pretty quickly. Racing along this runway and rotate. Up we go. into the sky, take off. Just breaking through the clouds at the moment. Let me show you quickly. So you saw the view there very quickly. So what I wanted to say was we're off the ground. Crossing fingers, cross the fingers for good luck that we are able to make it to our next flight. Let's see. So this is what it looks up above the passenger seat. There's a fan for each passenger, a reading light, 
and a cabin crew calling button. And let's have a quick look at the tray on this aircraft. It's a one-piece tray, not a two-piece like you have on most long-haul flights. This is, of course, a shorter-haul flight. You open it by just opening the hatch up and letting it fall down. There's a little bit of space for a little belly here. I have a cup holder to the right. Let's see if it's a sliding tray. Indeed it is. So there you have it. There we have the tray. Plenty of space for my belly or my belly after I've been on our little holiday. Had some good food to eat abroad. Let's just pack it away quickly. Very easy. One clip and it's packed away. And just over here we also have a jacket holder, jacket hook. And in front of me, on my feet, we have a little pouch which comes with a SAS Scandinavian Traveler magazine, a menu for SAS, onboard food that you can purchase. A safety card for the CRJ900 and of course if Mato will just pass me the bath bag one more time we can have a look at that. Ah, there was one. I didn't think there would be one. And that's just a simple one that looks like it's been pretty crumpled up along the way. And don't take it with you as a souvenir. Let's quickly skim the magazine also. Scandinavian Traveler. The SAS Scandinavian Airlines in-flight magazine. Just skimming it very quickly to see what there is in it. As I always say, a lot of articles with some beautiful photographs inside. And uh, a magazine, if we get the chance, we normally take it with us and read it at the hotel or wherever it is we are staying. That was the in-flight magazine. Let's quickly have a look at the in-flight menu, which is always expensive on these flights. And from what I can see already now, it's expensive as always. One gin and tonic, if you want to drink that, costs 80 kron. I can see already from here. There you had the menu. I'm not even going to zoom in on the prices. Most of you who follow our videos know that it is expensive on these airlines. Beautiful blue skies up here. So we're underway. Drinks are being served. Coffee, tea or milk or coffee, tea or water. Time is 17 minutes past 9. Dutch time is the same as Danish time. Our next flight leaves at 11. And we've been in there, what time we left? About 5 to 9? About, about 15 minutes in there so far. So hopefully they got the speeder on so we can get there in time. Complimentary coffee, tea or water is on the way, so better put the tray down. What about Maro putting the tray down? <laughs> and we're both ready. Coffee, coffee, coffee. I just got a complimentary coffee. Two nice milks from Ala, looking like a good Scandinavian coffee, and Maro just got a water. I don't know if it's me or the rest of you have tried this before. I always find these milks very difficult to open, and by the time I open them, I squirt them all over the place. I've just been wiping down my tray. Still see the remnants of the milk that went all over the place there too. I think it's a very, very, very short uh, toilet tour of the. This aircraft is tiny, there's somebody waiting outside. So I'll just show you how tiny it is. Look at the space. The door's just behind me. There is a baby changing tray. I'm trying to move around now. Here we have the door. You can't see anything, I'm so close to everything. And that concludes the tour. I better go and let the others in. See you at the seat. Back in my seat now. That was a rather small toilet. I'm sure you all agree. Have you ever had such a small toilet before? Tried flying on the CRJ900? Let us know down below in the comments. What a fun experience. Toilets can be fitted in everywhere. Is that the smallest toilet you've ever been in? Yeah. It's tiny. Okay. Announcing that we've become, begun our descent. Time is 9.46, almost 10 to 10. 
And we're still descending down towards Amsterdam Airport Schiphol. Taking to the left and straightening up again. So as we descend, the year is always blocked. So the good three. three. And they should clear your ears. Turn the back of your seat to its fully upright position. You may continue to use your electronic devices in flight mode. We're now at five past ten. Cloud surfing has begun. Remember, our next flight leaves at 11, and we don't even have the boarding passes yet. It's going to be very interesting to see if we make that flight. Got a little bit of land down there. As we approach Amsterdam Airport. Some more back into the left. Quite a residential area down there. We're getting closer now to the airport. This river or canal looks familiar from our last flight with KLM from Kuala Lumpur to Amsterdam. If you haven't seen that trip report already, I'll leave a link to it down in the comment section, the pinned pin comments below. Be sure to check that out. Looks like it's pretty much the same grey weather as we left back in Copenhagen. Not long to go now. You can almost see that. Well, can almost. We can see the birds walking on the grass down below. And we are almost there now. Here we go. Whoa. A little bit bouncy. Bumpy. And touchdown. Here we are in Amsterdam Airport. Lovely spotting locations over there, as Manu says. Look at all the spotters over there. Look at the spotters, look at that. They even have toilets. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Amsterdam. For safety reason, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened. It's now quarter past ten. We're taxiing along towards the terminal here at the Amsterdam Airport. You can see from the window, can't really see, show you with the video, but it's very far down to the terminal, so it's going to take at least 10 minutes before we're down by the gate. The highway there. One Lufthansa behind us also. Getting closer to the terminal now. We're now at 24 minutes past 10, still taxiing. Just about to take off now. Again, it was a different disembarkation. We were so close to each other, I didn't film it. It was just ended. Now we have about 25 minutes to fly, so this is going to be a bouncy walk to the gate. I'm trying to make it to our next flight, which I'll announce in the next video, where we, which one we're flying with. And we just have to move it now. First things first is figure out which gate. Oh. And we arrived here at gate C16. And now we just have to follow the signs. Transfer T2, T9. Yeah. Just here, a few months back, find a transfer counter. There's transfer. Self-service. 
So let's try. We can ask. There's people there. No, internet center. Well, let's try and check in here. Put them in. Do a self-service check-in. But is that is that even for? It's not even no. four hours, so it's we have to find a different place. That's why they have a desk. Yeah, no, no, no. where are the gates there? Go ask there. Go, Mado's got to ask at the information desk. I'll just check here what time. Our flight Taipei, gate closing. Gate E7. It's gate E7 and the gate's closing. Gate closing, gate E7. I just read on the sign that our flight to Taipei, even from gate E7, and the gate is closing. Go. Sorry, thank you. Sure. I'm just following Maro. The gate is closing. Just trying to pass. Sorry. Sorry. And we're on our way. Let's catch that one. We haven't even checked in, as I said before. Our luggage has been checked in, but we still have to pick up our boarding passes. And our flight leaves in 22 minutes. If you can see my watch. I'm just following.